Today I will show you how to set up Seagate One Touch password hard drive on MacBook. This is Mr. A Square Tech. Let's get started. This is a step by step process. Be patient and don't skip any parts of the video. Step 1 is downloading the Seagate toolkit. Before we start, make sure to keep this card with you. This is very important to configure the password for this hard drive. By the way, you will find it in the box along with the product. First, connect your Seagate hard drive to MacBook with the cable given in the box. As soon as you connect it, this light turns on. Now, let's go to the MacBook. As soon as you connect the drive, you will see it on the desktop. Double click on it to open. You will see two configuration files. One for Mac and one for Windows. If you are on Windows, you have to start with the Windows file. Since we are configuring it for Mac, we need to start with start here Mac. Click on OK to continue. A browser window would open and you will land on a registration page. Type in your first name, last name and email ID that you will be using for registration. Check these three boxes and click on register. Now click on the download button to download the Seagate toolkit. This will essentially be used to configure the drive. Click on allow and the download starts. By the way, you can click next here to claim the free bonuses provided by Seagate upon purchasing this drive like a 4 month complimentary membership to Adobe Creative Cloud Photography Plan and Mylio Create Support. For now, I am continuing with the configuration process. Step 2 is accessing the hard drive. Once the file is downloaded, open the downloads folder. You will find the zip file. Right click on the file and click on open. The Seagate toolkit installer file would be extracted. Double click on the file. An installer window would show up. Click on I agree and continue. Looks like it's upgrading the toolkit. Click on OK and click on Got it. As you can see, the drive is accessible now and we can see the details of it. Now click on Seagate Secure. Click on OK. Click on Continue and type in the password you used to log in to the MacBook. It needs to install a driver for Mac OS and we need to eject the drive now. Click on eject and disconnect the drive from MacBook. Step 3 is enable system extension on Mac to install the Seagate driver. This is a very important step in order to install the driver. We need to give permission to it. As soon as you eject the drive, the driver installation starts. Click on Open Security Preferences. Now we need to enable the system extensions. If the system extensions already enabled on your Mac, then you can skip to the time shown on the video. If not, do the following steps. To make any system changes, click on the lock icon at the bottom left. Type in the system password here. I used fingerprint authentication. Now this portion of the window is enabled. Click on enable system extensions. The following pop-up window would show up. Click on shutdown to continue. On the next screen, 
you need to select the Macintosh HD and click on shutdown. The system starts rebooting. You will land on Mac OS recovery screen where you need to select the profile and click on next. Enter the login password and click on continue. The startup security utility would open and click on unlock. Enter the login password and click on unlock. Now the drive is unlocked. We need to set the security policy here. Click on it and select reduced security. This is totally fine guys. It is just that Apple letting other certified developers access the drive. Take your time to read and check these two checkboxes and click on OK. Enter the login password and click on OK. This will take a while. Stay with me. The process is completed and now it's time to restart. Whew, that's one heck of a p That's how you enable the system extensions on Mac OS. Once you log in, open system settings and open security and privacy. Click on the lock to make the changes. Now you will see system software from developers Seagate Technologies LLC was blocked from loading. Now click on allow. Type in the login password and click on restart. After restarting, the security and privacy window would look like this. Step 4 is set up the password for the hard drive. Since we gave all the permissions for Seagate, now let's head over to Downloads. Double click on Seagate Toolkit Installer and connect the drive to Macbook. Select Seagate Secure. Now we are setting up the password for this hard drive. Click on Setup. Remember the card that I showed you in the beginning of the video? You need to enter this security code on this screen. Click on Next to continue. Now it's time to set up the password. Create the password of your choice and confirm the password. Enter the password hint. Click on next to continue. Now the password is created for the drive. However, it is recommended to create a password reset key. This is useful when you forget the password for the drive. If you don't want to create it now, you can click on later. For now, I am going with setup option. Here, we need to enter the Seagate account credentials. If you created the Seagate account already, then you can enter the credentials. Otherwise, click on create account. A browser window would be opened with the registration form. With this step, we will create an account and register this hard drive on Seagate. Enter all the details and click on sign up. Click on the verification link that is sent to your email to activate the account. I have verified and activated the account. Now coming back to this screen. Enter the Seagate account login credentials that you just created now and click on next. It will take a while to create the password. And now you will be shown this screen and that's it. The password setup is completed. 
for this drive. Now let's see if it is working. Before we move on, if you think this video was useful, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for the latest gadget reviews and tech solutions like this one. Step 6 is verification. Click on done to continue. I have disconnected and reconnected the drive. As you see, it's asking for the password to unlock the drive. Let me enter the wrong password. Wow, it's indeed working. Let me enter the right password to get in real quick. And there you go. It says the drive is unlocked. Let me open the drive and show you. By the way, I have moved a few files to verify the access. As you can see, the drive and the files inside the drive are accessible now. So that is how you can set up Seagate OneTouch password hard drive on Mac. If you missed any step or blocked at any step while configuring the video, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try my best to help you guys. If you get any benefit watching this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me make more such videos. Thank you for watching. See you in another video with the tech you love.